Thank you for visiting Color Veil, and my name is Stacy Jensen. Today we're doing a series of videos to help you customize your editing style and to speed up your workflow. I thought it was very important to show you how to do this using um, ACR or Camera Raw with your raw files. This is a really great thing to do in your editing because you can really speed up everything um, by fixing it in RAW as well as fixing things that can't be fixed using actions or adjustments in Photoshop or Elements. So when you shoot in RAW, you will need to open it up using ACR through Adobe. I have this version. There's many versions of it. I prefer the 6.3, but again, there is an updated one, um, and they all work great. It's just what your preference is. Um, the first thing that you need to do when you're using Camera Raw is at the bottom of the image, there will be a blue hyperlink. This is where you'll set up your space and your resolution. It's really important to have this on an sRGB so that the photos that you're editing can also be used for your web output, such as on your blog or your website. You don't want to edit twice an image because that does take up time. So uh, by killing two birds with one stone and setting it up so that it prints well plus shows well on the internet is the best thing for you to do. So change this to sRGB in Camera Raw and you won't have to ever change it again. The settings that you do here will be depicted in every photograph thereafter. So I set this to the sRGB and my resolution to 300 and click OK. Now every time you open up a NEF file or a CR file for, um, I think that uh, the other cameras call it that, NEF is for Nikon, you it will automatically implement these changes once the, the NEF file or the RAW file is opened. Once you're in there and you open up the photograph, you can make a few adjustments. And I just wanted to show a couple of our very favorites. On every photo, clearly we fix the exposure to whatever it may need for that session. So either bumping it up or bumping it down. I tend to be someone that shoots underexposed, but if you shoot overexposed, you may have to drag the exposure to the left. One of the other always necessary tips is to pull my contrast and my clarity just slightly to the right. I like to keep them both aligned with one another, the contrast and the clarity. It really helps bring a sharpness to the image. And then the other necessary adjustment is I always turn the sharpener somewhere in the 40s. That will give you a nice crisp look. It is set to a default of 25. So if you were shooting in JPEG with your camera, you would not be able to turn this up. You'd have to run a sharpening tool. But um, since we have not flattened the image yet into a JPEG, we still have the ability to take it up higher than um, what it generally is set to, which is a 25. So once you're set with that, there's some other really great tools. You'll be able to change your temperature and your white balance, um, brightness, and the depth of the photo. But you can also make the photo straight by using the straighten tool up in the top of your toolbar. And all you do is create a natural line with something in the photo that is not straight. So for instance, I'm going to use um, the line in the boulder next to her. And then double click and it will straighten that out so that you have a nice straight photograph. Once you're finished with that, you can either open it into Photoshop or save it and be finished and go on to your next image. You also can run multiple photos in Camera Raw at the same time and put all of those edits directly onto it. <clears throat> Final step is you can even save the settings that you made to this photograph so that you have a copy of it and can apply it to any further images. So uh, once you do that, you'll just save it. It's going to ask you what kind of changes do you want to save. It is preset to have all of them done. You could just click save and save it onto your computer. And then later you can click your presets button and select it from the name that you gave it during the saving process. So I hope that this helps you. Thank you so much for visiting Color Veil.